ultrasound are extensively used in food industry for several applications concerning the ripening, aging, and oxidation of the food products, the, the extraction of the cells and the extraction of intracellular components, the activation and control of enzymes, the uh, operation of mixing and homogenization, and many other applications that can be useful in food technology, but especially in enology. Okay, what, what is ultrasounds? Ultrasounds are sonic waves that produce in the media effects of compression and rarefaction, expansion. So it means that uh, during the process, some uh, bubbles of gas are formed that are expanded uh, during the rarefaction and are compressed during the uh, compression. So this chance of uh, size produced at the end when the bubble reach a critical size, the implosion of these bubbles, and it produces high temperature that can reach 5,000 Kelvin degrees in, in, and at nanoscale, and also pressure that can reach 2,000 atmospheres. Okay, here you can see how the maximum uh, in the pressure is the acoustic pressure, but also uh, we can see how the bubbles are increased during the uh, lower values of the pressure and compress it during the higher values of the pressure. Of course, this process also produce an increase in the global temperature of the products. Well, uh, ultrasounds are affected by uh, several uh, parameters. Uh, external factors that are really important is the power of the ultrasounds that uh, is the energy we are using to produce these ultrasounds, as much power, much intense effect of these ultrasounds. Also, the frequency, that is the number of waves by second that we are applying, and the amplitude, that is the intensity of the acoustic pressure. Concerning the external factor, also are important the time. Uh, we get a higher effect, as much time as we are using ultrasounds, but also the temperature. Uh, we can increase the effect of ultrasound in a synergistic way if we apply higher temperature. But uh, moreover, the ultrasound are increasing the temperature of the food products. And of course, uh, we have other intrinsic uh, factors that are produced by the uh, Jewish matrix or the food matrix. In, in our case, could be wine, could be grassed grape, could, could be juice. Is different composition produce some effects due to the structure and the composition. In this slide, you can see uh, the effect of ultrasound when it's applied by the probe, a cutting probe, uh, in a liquid, and you can see the effect of luminescence, the cavitation that is produced during the, the implosion of the bubbles, uh, forms very high. Uh, uh, energy effects, and this can be even uh, be observed like luminescence. Okay, one interesting application in use is the homogenization. When we apply ultrasound, it is possible to disgregate the colloidal particles and produce much more stable suspensions. For example, here you can see in, in, in a orange juice that is typical to settle colloidal particles along the time. When we apply ultrasound, it's possible to disaggregate these colloidal particles, reducing the size and also reducing the electric interactions. And uh, therefore, we can keep much more stable the colloidal suspensions. Well, in this other slide, you can see the effect of ultrasounds in the extraction of uh, gray components. On the left side here, you can see uh, some red grapes that are in water, and we apply ultrasound by this probe, this ultrasound probe, and you can see the initial condition is a, a very cold uh, product because the grapes are in the freeze at the, at the beginning, and the liquid that is quite clear. However, when we apply ultrasound during a few uh, minutes, uh, it is possible to see in the thermography how the content is homogenized, how the temperature, the global temperature is increasing by the cavitation and so on, and how the extraction is produced 
well, here we can see how the anthocyanins are being extracted by the effect of ultra shown from the uh, cell uh, grapes, sorry, from the uh, grape skins to the liquid. So ultrasound is a really interesting technique to uh, increase the extraction of cell wall components, aromatic compounds, color, tannins, and so on from the grape skins.